Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. May God's grace, like a heavenly manna, falling upon each and every one of you. During the Vietnam War, artillery rounds struck an orphanage, injuring several children, including a nine-year-old girl who urgently needed a blood transfusion. American forces sent a doctor and nurse to help. They asked the unharmed children if anyone would donate blood to save the girl's life. And after a hesitant silence, a 10-year-old boy named Hong volunteered. As the transfusion began, who started crying uncontrollably, making the medical team nervous. A Vietnamese nurse arrived and spoke with him in his native language. She discovered that Hung thought he had to give all his blood and died to save the girl. The shock doctor said, asked how he could have the courage to make such a sacrifice. The Vietnamese nurse turned to the boy and asked him, who simply replied, because she is my friend. This story reminds me of the immense love Jesus has for each and every one of us. Just as he was willing to lay down his life for his friend, Jesus willingly sacrificed his life on the cross for our salvation. He shed his precious blood so that we may have eternal life. As we celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Body, and blood of Jesus Christ, also known as the Corpus Christi, we are reminded of this ultimate sacrifice. In the Eucharist, we see the very body and blood of Christ, the same sacrifice offered on the cross for our redemption. You see, when we come to Mass, we are not just fulfilling an obligation or going through the motions. We are encountering the very presence of Jesus Christ who gave his life for us on the cross. When we receive the Eucharist, we are not just receiving a symbol or a reminder of this sacrifice. We are receiving the real body and blood of Christ, the same sacrifice offered on the Calvary for our redemption. This is an incredible gift, one that should fill us with awe and wonder every time we approach the altar. Just as the old covenant was sealed with the blood of sacrificed animals. Jesus established a new and everlasting covenant through his own blood. He chose to become the ultimate sacrifice, shedding his blood to atone for our sins and restore our relationship with God. Through his broken body and shed blood, Jesus has breathed new life into our souls. He died so that we might live. This is the heart of the gospel message we should never take for granted. So my brothers and sisters, I invite you today to enter into the Mass 
with a renewed sense of preference and devotion. Let us approach the altar with grateful hearts, acknowledging the immense sacrifice that Jesus made for each and every one of us. Let us open our hearts to the transforming power of the Eucharist, allowing it to change it from the inside out. When we understand the depth of love in the Mass, boredom becomes imp impossible. As we unite with Christ and each other, become, becoming one body with Him. The next time you find yourself feeling bored at Mass, remember the price that was paid for your salvation. You didn't have to shed a single drop of blood for your sins, but our Lord shed every drop of His. He endured the agony of the cross so that we might be reconciled with God. When we truly grasp the death of this sacrifice, let us come to Mass with an open, expectant, and reverent heart. Come ready to encounter Jesus in a powerful way. Come ready to be transformed by his love and grace. And when you receive the Eucharist, do so with profound gratitude and reverence, knowing that you are receiving the very body and blood of our Lord. May we never take this incredible gift for granted, but always cherish it at the source and summit of our faith. May we approach the altar with reverence and love, offering ourselves along with the bread and wine to be transformed into the body of Christ in the world. Go no more, my Jewish friends, for the Eucharist is your salvation source. Attending Mass filled with utmost joy in the Lord's love and presence, rejoice.